So my name is Betsy Diamont Cohen, and I am the Children's Programming Specialist at the Enoch Pratt Free Library in Baltimore, Maryland, and I'm also the creator of Mother Goose on the Loose. Mother Goose on the Loose is an early literacy program that um, is mostly geared for children from birth to the age of two, but it actually works for children up to the age of five, up to the age of eight, depending on how you do it. But right now we're focusing on zero to the age of two. Why is Mother Goose on the Loose different from other baby programs, other lapsed programs? Well, there are two main reasons. One is because it uses material that was written by or adapted by Barbara Cass Beggs. Barbara Cass Beggs was a Canadian music teacher. I met her in the 1980s when she was already 80 years old, and I, I studied with her. Barbara was ahead of her time way back when she would go to conferences with people presenting papers on brain research, and she studied how children learn and how music affects fetuses. And she developed a whole approach to teaching music to children called the Listen Like Learn approach. The idea behind it was first you listen. From listening to something, you become familiar with it, and you start to like it. And once you like it, you learn. Listen Like Learn. And she developed a series of classes called Your Baby Needs Music, Your Child Needs Music. I took my son to one of her classes, and afterwards I was privileged enough to study with Barbara. And so I was doing preschool story time during the day in my library. And then in the evening, I would go to a maternity hospital and run your baby needs music classes. After about a year of that, I thought, well, why don't we do something in the library for children under the age of three? So I sat down with a piece of notebook paper, and I looked at Barbara's program, her structure, a lot of her comments, and I integrated it with what were literacy practices in the library. And I came up with Mother Goose on the Loose. That was in the late 1980s. And since then, um, I've been doing Mother Goose on Loose programs, so it's given me plenty of time to work out what works and what doesn't work. And of course, with all the research that's out, found ways to integrate the research in. So what we have now is a tried and true program. Now, in addition to using, oh, and Barbara's songs and adaptations are really great for young children. Sometimes in baby programs, people take songs that are good for older kids and dumb them down. But Barbara's material is really appropriate for the early learner, and you'll see that. Because instead of me telling you about Mother Goose on the Loose, after this very brief introduction, you're all going to get on the floor, pretend that you're parents with kids, and we're actually going to do it. And then at the end, we're going to talk about what we did. Um, another thing is that Mother Goose on the Loose has a structure of 10 different sections. And that's what makes it different from other programs, that although you may vary the songs and the rhymes that you use within those sections, it follows that structure because that structure works. And that's what you're going to see now. So um, the other thing is that uh, there's 80% repetition from week to week. So once you create your first program with the 10 sections, it's really easy to, to keep doing because you just change five things before you do your next program. And then you just take that program and change five things for your next program. So in terms of planning time, very little planning time. In terms of props, you know, you don't need a whole bunch of new props. So it's very user friendly. And uh, one other thing. It's not just about language literacy, but you'll see it's music literacy, it's visual literacy. It's a lot of different skills rolled into one. For Mother Goose on the Loose, you don't need a lot of special equipment, but there's one piece of equipment that we don't have that I usually use. Everyone has been given in their binders um, a copy of this. And I do travel around the country doing training workshops. This is the entire programming packet that I give out at those training workshops. And on page five, it lists the supplies. And the very first supply is a five-in-one teacher's easel flannel board. And that's what we don't have here. So let me just tell you about it in case you don't have one. The teacher five-in-one teacher's easel is an easel with a flannel board on the front. But inside the easel, there's a little shelf. And the reason I like that is because I can put all my materials on the shelf outside of the view of the children. And I put it on that shelf in the order in which I'm going to use it, so I don't have to rely on a written list telling me what's going to come next. Whatever's at the top of the pile, I use. And when I'm done with it, I, I have a um, plastic bucket in the middle of the easel. I dump it in the bucket, and then I go on to the next thing. Now, because this easel is high, you guys can see when I'm dumping things into the bucket. But in the five-in-one teacher's easel, it comes down to about here. So again, the children see an item when it's in use, and then when it's either on the shelf or in the bucket, sight, and so they're not to come up and play with it. So um, I'd like you to pretend that I'm using a five-in-one teacher's easel. So now what we're going to do is invite everyone to come up. I'd like you to sit in a circle. So if possible, everyone can see without someone blocking the other on the floor. If you have knee problems or back problems, obviously you're welcome to stay in your chairs, but it's preferable to sit on the floor.
can you guys move back a little bit? So try, we'll try to get everybody so they can see. Aren't you guys going to come up and join the circle? You can bring your chairs. You were my breakfast companions. Come on. <laughs> okay. You can sit in the chair. I just okay. Um, hello, everybody, and welcome to Mother Goose on the Loose. My name is Miss Betsy, and I'm a librarian here at the Anna Pratt Free Library. I'm delighted that you're here today. Mother Goose on the Loose is an early literacy program that helps your child with speech development, development of motor skills, early literacy skills, and it's a lot of fun. It gives you a lot of rhymes and activities that you can bring home and do with your child. The way it works is we say everything twice. The first time you listen, the second time you say it with me. But if you already know the rhyme, you're welcome to say it both times. Children this age don't sit perfectly still. It's fine with me if they want to wander around. I just have one request. I'd like you to pretend that there's an invisible semicircle around the flannel board. And if your child gets up and stands within that semicircle, I'd like you to physically come up and bring them back. Simply because if a child is standing in front of the flannel board, they'll block the view of everyone else. And also, I have all of my equipment back here. And if one child comes up and starts taking something, another child will. So again, pretend there's an invisible circle around the flannel board. If your child comes up within it, please come up and physically move them back. Otherwise, it's fine if they want to run around. OK, that's it. Without further ado, Mother Goose on the loose. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. Old Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on her very fine gander. And if you have a baby, you can lift up your baby, too. There's a set of stairs. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. Goosey, goosey, gander, where do you wander? Upstairs and downstairs and in my lady's chamber. There's a cloud. Let's take out two little dicky birds. Two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One named soft, the other named loud. Fly away loud, come back soft, come back loud. Again, two little dicky birds sitting on a cloud. One named soft, the other named loud. Fly away soft, fly away loud, come back soft, come back loud. And that's Barbara Cass Beggs. You can see how lovely that is. Now let's do a silly version of that. Two little dicky birds sitting in the snow. One in fact. The other named slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. You want to try that with me? Two little dicky birds sitting in the snow. One named fast. The other named slow. Fly away fast. Fly away slow. Come back fast. Come back slow. Oh, that was great. OK, let's take out two little monkeys. I bet you know this one. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. The other called the doctor, and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Oh, and look who I have right here. I have one monkey and two monkeys. Can you pretend that you have monkeys on your hands, and let's do it together? Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Ouch! The other called the doctor, and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Ooh, that was so much fun. Yeah, everybody did it so nicely. Hey, let's give everybody a monkey kiss. OK. Mwah, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to read the story of Freight Train by Donald Cruz. Can you make train sounds with me? Chug, 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 chug. Toot, toot. A train runs across this track. Chug, 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 chug. Toot, toot. Red caboose at the back. Orange tank car next. Yellow hopper car. Chug, 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 chug. Toot, toot. Green cattle car. Blue gondola car. Purple box car. Chug, 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 ch
a black tender, and a black steam engine. Chug, 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 choo, choo. Freight train. Chug, 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 choo, choo. Moving. Going through tunnels. Going by cities. Crossing trestles. Chug, 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 choo, choo. Moving in darkness, moving in daylight. Going, going, gone. Freight Train by Donald Cruz. Oh, look, here's a turtle. I had a little turtle. He lived in a box. He swam in the water, and he climbed on the rocks. He snapped at a minnow. He snapped at a flea. He snapped at a mosquito, and he snapped at me. He caught the minnow. He caught the flea. He caught the mosquito, but he didn't catch me. Let's hit the floor together. We hit the floor together, we hit the floor together, we hit the floor together because it's fun to do. We kick the floor together, we kick the floor together, we kick the floor together because it's fun to do. We smack our knees together, we smack our knees together, we smack our knees together because it's fun to do. We wiggle our fingers together, we wiggle our fingers together, we wiggle our fingers together because it's fun to do. We sway from side to side, we sway from side to side, we sway from side to side because it's fun to do. We all wave hello, we all wave hello, we all wave hello because it's fun to do. And that's another Barbara Castbeg song. Okay, so fingers go woggle, we go woggle, we go woggle. Fingers like to wiggle woggle way up high. Fingers like to wiggle, woggle, wiggle, woggle, wiggle, woggle. Fingers like to wiggle, woggle, way down low. Fingers like to wiggle, woggle, wiggle, woggle, wiggle, woggle. Fingers like to wiggle, woggle on my knee. Parents, take your child's outstretched palm and with your finger make a circle in their palm. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle him under there! And the other hand, Round about, round about goes the wee mouse. Up a step, up a step, all around the house. Round and round the garden goes the teddy bear. One step, two step, tickle him under there. Round about, round about goes the wee mouse. Up a step, up a step, all around the house. Let's do open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them, put them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chinny, chinny, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. And let's play pat a cake with hot cross buns. Hot cross buns, hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Give them to your daughters, give them to your sons. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Let's try some knee bounces. Put your legs out in front of you. Put your child on your knees facing me, and let's start with one foot up and one foot down like this. Seesaw, scara down. This is the way to London town. One knee up and the other knee down. This is the way to London town. Seesaw, scara down. This is the way to Pasadena town. One knee up and the other knee down. This is the way to Pasadena town. And let's go to market. To market, to market, to buy a fat pig. Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. And here's one of my favorites. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off, but Uncle John went on and 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 on. Try that with me. Mother and father and Uncle John went to town one by one. Mother fell off and father fell off, but Uncle John went on and on and on and on. And one more, the grand old Duke of York, and when he goes up, move your knees up and down, move your knees down, and your children will just love it. Oh, the grand old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, and he marched them down again. 
And when they were up, they were up. Woo! And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Woo! Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. Rum, pum, pum. This is my drum. My name is Betsy. What's your name? I'm going to go around the circle now, and I'd like each child to tap their name out on the drum with the syllables. So Sue, oops, sorry, um, okay. Sue would just be Sue, but Shaniqua would be Shaniqua. And parents, if your child is too young to do it on their own, please take their hand and using their hand, help them tap out the syllables of their name. What's your name? Gina. Hello, Gina. What's your name? Andy. Hello, Cindy. James. Hi, James. <laughs> Welcome, Sherry. Andy. Good afternoon, Linda. Hi, Hi Heather. Hello, Susan. Josette. I'm so glad you're here, Josette. Jillian. Welcome, Jillian. Irene. Good afternoon, Irene. Hi, Marie. Hi, Hello, Marisa. Yeah. Hi, Sharon. And you get the idea. I go around and welcome everybody. Stand up. Let's make a big circle. And we're going to march around the circle in this direction. And don't forget, when you march, you got to move your legs up high. You ready? Here we go. We're marching to the drum. We're marching to the drum. Hi ho the Dario, we're marching to the drum, we're marching round the room, we're marching round the room. Hi ho the Dario, we're marching round the room, we're marching to the drum, we're marching to the drum. Hi ho the Dario, we're marching to the drum, and the drum says stop. Can you hit stop on the drum? Good. Very good. Great. Terrific. Tremendous, fantastic, fabulous, excellent, wonderful, unbelievable, magnificent, superb, splendid, super, awesome, awe-inspiring, excellent, magnificent, marvelous, wonderful, incredible, unbelievable, wonderful, great, superb, fabulous, terrific. Okay. <laughs> now, in every Mother Goose on Loose program, there's something called a developmental tip. And in a developmental, you only do one or two of those per program, and that's like a sentence, two sentences, three sentences about the value of an activity and something they might want to do at home. So for instance, the developmental tip might, for this might be, what word do all children need to learn? Stop. stop. Right. And if you say stop, if you wait to teach your children about stop till they're doing something they shouldn't be doing, something dangerous, when you say it, you're going to have panic in your voice. And if they're not used to hearing that, they're going to laugh because it's funny and they're not going to really um, respond. But if you play freeze games with your child at home where they learn to stop, then when you actually need them to stop, it will be pre-programmed in. So play freeze games at home. So that's like a developmental tip. Let's play another freeze game. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. And we walk, and we walk, and we walk, and we stop. And we all turn around. Woo! Let's jump. And we jump, and we jump, and we jump, and we stop. And we jump, and we jump, and we jump, and we stop. And we jump, and we jump, and we jump, and we stop. And we all turn around. Woo! And you can creep, and run, and giant step, and tiptoe, and all those other good things. Now let's play a let's play a game nursery school children in Israel play. Hold hands together. It's called Uga Uga Uga. Follow my lead. Uga Uga Uga. Bama Galna Huga. Nistoveva Kohayom Hada Shernim Sama Kum La Shevet Lakum. La Shevet Lakum. La Shevet Lakum. La Shevet Vilakum. One more time. Uga uga uga, fama galna huga, nisto veva kohayom, ara shernin sama kum la shevet la kum, la shevet la kum, la shevet la kum, la shevet vila kum. Who knows what to get up in Hebrew is? La kum! See? <laughs> candy, spandy, sugar, and candy, we all jump in. Woo! Handy, spandy, sugar, and candy, we all jump out. Woo! Handy, spandy, sugar, and candy, we all jump up. 
Candy, Sandy, sugar and candy, we all sit down. Now I need your help with the sounds the animals make. I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a cow along the way. And what do you think the cow did say? I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a goat along the way. And what do you think the goat did say? <laughs> I went to visit the farm one day. I saw a dog along the way. And what do you think the dog did say? What clever children. <laughs> oh, look, I have some friends over here. Let's see who's in here. <gasps> who's this? Does anyone know who this is? When the cow gets up in the morning, she always says, moo. When the cow gets up in the morning, she says, moo, moo. Now sing the song with me. Let's see who's next. Oh, but you know who this is. <laughs> When the cat gets up in the morning, she always says, meow. When the cat gets up in the morning, she says, meow, meow. When the bee gets up in the morning, she always says, boo. When the bee gets up in the morning, she says, boo, boo. When the pig gets up in the morning, she always says, oink. When the pig gets up in the morning, she says, oink, oink, hickory dickory dare, the pig flew up in the air. Farmer Brown soon brought her down, hickory dickory dare. Now I'm going to pass the pig around, and I'd like each child to throw the pig up in the air, and when they do, let's give them a big round of applause for job well done. And parents, if your child is too young to do it on their own, please take their hands, and with the hands, help them throw the pig up in the air. Yay! <laughs> Yay! Excellent pig throwing skills. Good. And they can see you hold it and don't throw it and I'll help you. Yay! Yay! Here, let me help you. One, two, three. Woo! Yay! You get the idea? Hickory dickory dare. The pig flew up in the air. Farmer Brown soon brought her down. Hickory dickory dare. Do you know the Incy Wincy Spider? Let's sing the song of the Incy Wincy Spider. The Incy Wincy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Incy Wincy Spider went up the spout. It's not fair. Everybody's always singing the song about my brother, the Incy Weezy Spider. Nobody ever sings about me, the great big spider. I am so sad I'm going to cry. <laughs> Don't cry, great big spider. We can sing about you. You can? Can you sing a song with your great big voices and your great big hands? We can do that, can't we? Okay, I'm going to put you on my legs and we're all going to sing the great big spider. Ready? The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the great big spider went up the spout again. <gasps> that was so wonderful. I'm going to give you kisses. Ah, mm. uh, thank you. Oh, now I think it's time for some musical instruments. I have some bells. Now, normally I go around the circle and I give everybody bells. But um, in the interest of time, I think I'm going to ask for some help. Can you, like, pass out some bells, too? And uh, when I'm giving out musical instruments, I try to give it directly to the child. A lot of times the parents will try to take it for the child. But I want to establish that individual relationship, so I will try to give it to the child. And I try to give the handle first uh, to make it easier for them. Here, I'll take a few more. And uh, here I usually come around like this with the, uh, with the canvas bag, and I'll hand it to them one at a time. 
Oop. There we go. Here, do you want to pass it around and you can all take them? We ring our bells together. We ring our bells together. We ring our bells together because it's fun to do. We ring our bells together. We ring our bells together. We ring our bells together because it's fun to do. Ring them up high. Ring them down low. Ring them in the middle. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding dong dong. Ding dong dong. Does anyone know it in a different language? Ding dong dong. Another language. Thank you for the Spanish. Okay. Ring your bells, ring your bells, ring your bells today. Oh, what fun it is to ring, to ring your bell today. Ring your bells, ring your bells, ring your bells today. Oh, what fun it is to ring, to ring your bell today. Ring them up high, ring them down low, ring them in the middle. Where'd the bag go? You guys have the bag? <laughs> bells away, bells away, put the bells away today. Bells away, bells away, put the bells away today. Bells away, bells away, put the bells away today. Bells away, bells away, put the bells away today. And parents, if your child put the bell in their mouth and it's wet, please put it in my hand instead of in the bag, and then I can disinfect it afterwards. And also maybe a developmental tip for this part would be um, singing a song makes cleaning up into fun, and you can see none of the children have problems putting the bells away. So you might want to use that at home when you're um, working with your kids. Okay, I have some sticks, and I also have some uh, maracas. Normally I would just do one instrument, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask you guys to, to take, take one and pass the bag down, and then with this side I'll do as I normally would, which is just go around and hand them out. And these sticks, I got dowels, and I, sanded, I cut them and sanded them. You can buy rhythm sticks. Um, I like. They charge, there's actually one site on the internet that doesn't charge. It's called Kimbo Educational, and I have that in the book that I. Um, that's in your programming packet. I got it. Ready. Okay. Okay, we we're gonna do songs for we're gonna do songs for sticks first, but you can pretend you have sticks. We tap our sticks together. We tap our sticks together. We tap our sticks together because it's fun to do. We tap our sticks together. We tap our sticks together. We tap our sticks together because it's fun to do. Tap them up high. Tap them down low. Tap them in the middle. And of course, for the shakers, we would shake our shakers together. Grandfather clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock. Brother's little watch goes tick, 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 stop. Grandfather clock goes tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. Tock. Mother's kitchen clock goes tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock. Brother's little watch goes tick 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 stop. And another thing you might do if, well, let's say if we're doing shakers or um, we go shake 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 shake
And that's a great one for teaching listening skills. OK, then I might have a song that I play, and I'd say, let's um, tap, shake, or ring along with the song. So let's see if this is still on. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, I would play a song, and we would tap, shake, ring, whatever, to the song. And uh, why don't we sing a song? Let's sing You Are My Sunshine, and, and we can, we, well, what we could do is we could tap first, shake, and then do it quickly, and then do it slowly, and we could do it loudly and softly. You might want to do it in a circle. You might want to do it up and down. You might want to do it side to side, on our shoulders on our knees, all different kinds of ways you can do it. And then one more time, tap them up high, tap them down low, tap them in the middle. Sticks away, sticks away, put your sticks away today. Sticks away, sticks away, put your sticks away today. Thank you. Well, put them in my hand if they're wet. No, I put it in my hand. Put it in my hand. Thank you. Sticks away, sticks. Way. Go ahead. Put your sticks away today. Sticks away, sticks away. Put your sticks away today. And you see, I had two sets of wet ones. How am I doing time wise? Okay. Colored scarves. Normally, again, I don't do this, but uh, I'm going to give you some to pass and we'll uh, go around this way. Here's a blue scarf for you, a yellow scarf for you, a blue one for you, a light blue one for you, a light blue one. You get a blue scarf, you get a green scarf. You get a purple scarf, a yellow scarf, a blue, a black, a green, an orange. Woo, I'm sorry. A black, a pink, orange. Now, two-year-olds and younger don't care what color they have. <laughs> wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say, what are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, I am blowing the scarves away. Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say, what are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh scarves, oh scarves, I say, I am blowing the scarves away. Let's play peekaboo. Of course, because they're see-through, it's not frightening to the kids to put the scarves over their head. Peekaboo, I see you, I see you hiding there. Peekaboo, peekaboo, I see you. I see you hiding there, peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you, I see you hiding there, peekaboo, peekaboo. I see you, I see you hiding there. Then we might want to scrunch up our scarves and pretend they're washcloths. This is the way we wash our necks, wash our necks, wash our necks. This is the way we wash our necks so early in. We might want to play shoe fly. Shoe fly, don't bother me, shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me, because I belong to somebody. Maybe we want to sing, where, oh, where has my little something gone? Oh, where, oh, where has my little hand gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? Oh, where, oh, where has my little hand gone? Oh, where, oh, where can it be? One, two, three. Here it is! And then let's roll our scarves into a ball. Make them very, very small. On the count of three, throw them up in the air and see all the beautiful colors coming down. One, two, three. Whoa! Wind, oh, wind, oh, wind, I say. What are you blowing away today? Scarves, oh, scarves, oh, scarves, I say. I am blowing the scarves away. Scarves away, scarves away. Put your scarves away today. Scarves away, scarves away. Thank you. Put your scarves away today. Scarves away, scarves away. Put your scarves away today. Thank you. Scarves away. Okay, you can hold it. Scarves away. Put your scarves away today. Thank you very much. I think it's time for a lullaby. So let's all take our children and hold them very close to you so they can hear your heartbeat. And let's just sing a lullaby. And then we might sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, Hushabye, maybe, maybe a song in a different language or something, but just something to calm the child. And now that we're done with the lullaby,
and we've calmed everybody down. We're going to act them, get them, get them to go again. And uh, we might want to do an interactive thing like Jack be nimble, Jack be nimble, Jack be quick, Jack jump over the candlestick, Jill be nimble, Jill be quick, Jill jump over the candlestick. Do I have a volunteer who would like to come jump over the candlestick? Come on up. <laughs> now we all have to give her a big round of applause when she does it. She hasn't done it yet. Wait. Here you go. Go ahead. One, two, three. Yay! <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. Or another, another one we might do is Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now I'd like to invite each child to come up and pull Humpty off of the wall. And when they do, let's give them a big round of applause for a job well done. And there's a great, great exercise for children to learn turn taking, to learn patience. And they also get a great sense of self-confidence whenever an applause is to do something well. But parents, I need your help. Each child gets only one turn. So when they're done, they should move back to their seat. And if they don't, can you physically come up and help them move back so there's room up here for everybody else? OK, who wants to be the first one to pull Humpty off? Come on up. Yay! And do we have one more Humpty puller? OK. Yay! Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Now that is a really great exercise because what you'll find is that the children just love pulling Humpty off and having everyone clap. And you'll get the kids who always run up at the beginning, they want to be first, and the ones who like hang back to the end and they'll stand there for a while and finally they'll do it. But from this seat right here, you can see their faces. And they are so proud of themselves when they pull Humpty off. It's an achievable task because even the young kids have that grasping reflex. And, and these kids just love it. A child who's not walking or talking yet knows when they pull Humpty off, everyone's going to clap. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful activity. OK, now we're in the final section, the closing section. Can you kick with two feet, two feet, two feet? Can you kick with two feet? Kick, 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 kick. Can you clap with two hands, two hands, two? Can you clap with two hands? Clap, 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 clap. Can you kiss with two lips, two lips, two lips? Can you kiss with two lips? Kiss, 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 kiss. Mwah, 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 mwah. Can you wave bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye? Can you wave bye-bye, 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 bye-bye? It's time to say goodbye. But we're so happy, we're so happy, we're so happy that everyone is here. We're so happy, we're so happy, we're so happy that everyone is here. Bye, everybody. Thanks for coming. Hope to see you next week. Thank you for coming. And that's a Mother Goose on the Loose program. So.